Brock, what are you doing? Get him ready for surgery. What's it look like? You're operating on my sister. And my fiance. You're drunk. You could kill her. It's the only way to stop my hands from shaking. I need to drink. For Anna. What about our baby? Our baby? Oh my god, Brock? Are you okay? Brock, speak to me! Uh, Brock? I thought you loved Marie. So did I. What happened? Every time I searched my soul, I found Anna. Are you gonna tell Marie? I have to. It will destroy her. Could it be any worse on her than loving somebody who can't love her back? Anna's in a coma, Brock. Don't you think I know that? How can Anna love you back? Love lasts forever. Comas don't. You're needing an ICU. It's my heart, doctor. It's racing. I'm sure it's nothing. You're a healthy woman, Marie. Shouldn't you examine me? Why don't you have Rico do it? I don't want Rico. I want you. Anna's in a coma, Brock. She's never waking up. Comas aren't forever. I know that better than anyone. That's different, Brock. Being trapped in that frozen lake, you were in a state of suspended animation. That's why the doctors were able to revive you. And that's why my heart is racing now. Listen. It's pounding like a drum. Because of you, Brock. Marie, we can't. Anna would want us to be happy. She'd want us to be together. And what about Rico? The man lost a hand in Afghanistan. He needs you. Rico doesn't even know I'm alive. He's too busy trying to make the lady slipper into the best nightclub Port Lawrence has ever seen. None of that makes any difference, as long as Anna is alive. Tell me you don't have feelings for me, and I'll walk out of this room and out of your life forever. No matter how I feel about you, I can't turn my back on Anna. And how do you feel about me? I think you know, Marie. Please, tell me. Listen. You're not the only one whose heart is racing. This is not what it looks like. You don't love me. You never loved me. The love I have for you is stronger than the accident, Rex. Stronger than the memories it took away. You're my child, and so are the quadruplets, and I'm not going to give any of you up. Don't you dare talk to me as a mother then I'll talk to you like a woman. Not the woman I am, Rex. The woman I want to be. The woman who's piecing her life back together. The woman who's holding on to the few pieces that she has left. I won't be part of your jigsaw puzzle. And you'll never be my mother. I know it hurts, but that accident nearly took away the only parent you've ever had. I never had you. You just had me. You're my whole life, Rex. You. And soon, the quadruple. You didn't even remember me. 
And Ed, how can you take care of the quadruplets when you can't even take care of yourself? I remember holding you, praying that you would live through the night. And I remember vowing that I would never speak these words as long as I walked on this earth. You're lying to me. I can hurt you. I know that now, but I could never lie to you. <laughs> Don't ever leave me, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> You promised me you'd stop drinking. Of course I'm drunk, Anna. They told me you'd never wake up from that coma. But how could you get engaged to my sister? We fell in love. What do you want from me, Anna? I'm just a man. And I'm just a woman. And as thrilled as I am about the Lady Slipper being the best nightclub Port Lawrence has ever seen, It doesn't compare to the happiness that I feel when we're together. Oh, Anna, how I've missed you. Uh, please be careful of our baby.